Thank you all very much. Thank you. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, but I've lived here in LA longer than anywhere combined. Anything I did before moving to Los Angeles really felt like a dress rehearsal for being here. I remember the summer between my junior and, and senior year in high school. My girlfriend at the time and her father offered for me to come with them on a trip to LA. It would be my first trip. And my memory served me correctly. I took some heat for paying more attention to the Thomas guy than I did to her. <laughs> but I have to tell you, I think mean, LA really was my first true love. After that trip, in my mind at least, Los Angeles was a done deal for me. It's where I wanted to be. I can still recall multiple conversations with Connie and Gary Seacrest, my parents still married, God bless them, Atlanta, talking about how I wanted to leave the University of Georgia for a minute, drop out for a second, go dogs, by the way, big win this weekend, and, and go to LA and pursue what I wanted to do, what I love to do. And they finally agreed to a trial visit. They said, hey, go check it out, try it. So I packed up my Honda Prelude. Very proud of that red prelude. And I knew that I wasn't going to go home except for a Christmas Eve fondue. I really knew I was going to stay in the straight city. I remember driving that same Honda Prelude. I was living right here at Park Point, calling the way Verdugo. I was taking classes in Glendale. And I was listening to 102.7 Kiss FM, LA's number one music station. <laughs> Big D's and LK K in the morning. And it was a really incredible connection, not knowing Ellen at the time, but I felt I had with Rick and Ellen. You felt like you were part of their family. I was in awe at that opportunity that they had to become our companions, to be a part of our lives. And that's why I knew right then and there exactly what I wanted to do. I did at the right time. I wanted to wake up every day and be able to connect with people here in Los Angeles. LA's been uh, an irreplaceable part of my life. Sorry for the long video, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, being on the air on Kiss FM for so many years, roaming the red carpet for E, announcing the next American Idol at the theater in Los Angeles here in Hollywood. LA's also where the idea for Ryan Secrets Foundation came about and came to fruition. Uh, for those of you who don't know RSF, we build those media centers, that, as you saw on the tape, it's like a KTLA news desk meets an IR radio station. And the idea is that the patients become the stars. The patients uh, were being treated, sometimes they're there for a long time, many times they can't get out of their beds. So we create programming in the lobby that they can be a part of. Even if they can't be, they can see the programming and call into the studios from their hospital beds. Uh, they're visited by celebrities you saw there, sports stars, uh, a thousand student interns work in these studios, a hundred plus universities, about 25 states, and recently we did something really cool, we're always looking for new ideas, so if you have any, please reach out, we have to program these stations all year round, around the country, but recently in Nashville the Children's Hospital, we connected the patients with astronauts at the International Space Station, as it was orbiting Earth all live, which was really cool to see those kids going through stuff light up and forget about what they were going through in those moments. So it is the foundation, it is uh, the projects and experiences since that life-changing trip and around London in LA that motivate me to get up every day before the sun comes up and do what I love to do, and I'm so grateful to do it. I'm grateful to be in this room with all of you tonight. I very much appreciate this honor. Thank you all very much. Um, thank you to the Los Angeles Press Club and to everybody here tonight. I'm truly honored to be included amongst all the, the previous winners of this award. I also want to offer my congratulations to the other honorees this evening. My friend Byron Allen there at the table. Marla, nice to see you. Congratulations.